Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed, the channel where we dissect the most badass military tech on the planet and sometimes roast it a little. Today we're diving into a real naval powerhouse that's making waves, literally. Meet the Go Win class Corvette, a name that sounds like something out of a Tolkien novel, but packs enough punch to make any admiral's eyes sparkle. In this episode, we'll explore what makes this beauty tick, why so many navies are lining up to get one, and, of course, whether it's truly worth all the hype. Spoiler alert, it's not all smooth sailing. All right, let's rewind a bit. Before the Go Wine class became the darling of modern navies, the concept of the Corvette had humble beginnings. Think of it as the Swiss Army knife of naval warfare small, nimble, and versatile. These ships were originally designed for coastal patrols and escort missions, but as warfare evolved, so did the role of corvettes. Enter the Gowin class. Developed by Naval Group. Yes, the same French company that's been cranking out high-tech submarines and frigates for decades. The Gowin is a response to the growing demand for multi-mission warships, Smaller than a frigate, but far more capable than your average patrol boat. These corvettes were tailor-made for nations looking to pack a punch without breaking the bank, or their naval logistics. And here's a fun fact for you. The Go One was initially designed to help developing navies level up. But guess what? Even seasoned naval forces couldn't resist its charm. Countries like Egypt, Malaysia, and the UAE were quick to snag these corvettes, proving that size does matter, just not in the way you think. Now let's get to the meat of it. What makes the GoWine class Corvette so damn special? For starters, it's not just a ship. It's a floating Swiss watch. Every part of it screams efficiency and sophistication. This baby comes loaded with the SETI's combat management system. A fancy way of saying, it can multitask better than your smartphone. Need to hunt submarines? No problem. Take out aerial threats? Done. Provide fire support for ground troops? Easy peasy. Armament-wise, the Go Wind is like a buffet of destruction. It can be equipped with everything from anti-ship missiles to torpedoes, depending on what the customer orders. And let's not forget its stealth design. The ship's angular features and radar-absorbing materials make it harder to spot on enemy radars. It's like the ninja of the naval world. Think of it as the Tesla of warships, sleek, efficient, and ridiculously advanced. Except instead of saving the planet, it's making sure your coastline doesn't get invaded. Oh, and here's the kicker. It's designed for ease of operation. With a crew of just 65, you don't need to draft half your population to run the thing. That's a big win for nations with smaller navies or tighter budgets. Let's nerd out for a moment. The Go Wind is all about modularity. Imagine being able to customize your ship like you customize a pizza. Want more anti-air capability? Add some surface-to-air missiles? Need better sub-hunting tools? Throw in some sonar tech. Its diesel-electric propulsion system ensures long-range endurance without guzzling fuel like a frat boy on a beer run. And the panoramic sensors and intelligence module? Fancy talk for a 360-degree sensor suite that makes sure you see threats before they see you. Pop culture time. If Tony Stark built warships instead of suits, the Go Wind would probably be his prototype. So where has the Go Wind proved its worth? Let's talk Egypt. Their navy used these corvettes to bolster maritime security in the Mediterranean and Red Seas. And Malaysia? They've been using theirs to flex in the South China Sea, which, let's be honest, is the global hotspot for naval tension right now. These ships have shown they're more than capable of handling piracy, smuggling, and even full-scale naval skirmishes. If you're looking for a ship that can do it all, the Go Wind isn't just a contender, it's a front-runner. All right, let's take off the rose-tinted goggles for a second. Yes, the Go Wine class is impressive, but it's not without its flaws. 
First the good, it's cost-effective, versatile, and built for the modern battlefield. You get a lot of bang for your buck, and it's perfect for nations that want advanced capabilities without spending their entire defense budget. But here's the bad news. It's not invincible. The ship's size, while an advantage in some scenarios, also limits its armament and endurance compared to larger frigates. And don't get me started on the maintenance costs. Those stealthy materials and high-tech systems don't come cheap. And then there's the elephant in the room, over-reliance on automation. Sure, fewer crew members are great for efficiency, but what happens if the system gets hacked? Remember, in warfare, it's not just about who has the best toys, but who knows how to break the other guy's toys. So what's the verdict? The Gowin-class Corvette is a testament to how far naval technology has come. It's smart, sleek, and a symbol of modern naval power. But like any piece of military tech, it's not a silver bullet. It has its strengths, sure, but it also has its limitations. The question is, do its benefits outweigh its flaws? For many nations, the answer is a resounding yes. But as technology and warfare evolve, the Gowind will need to keep up or risk becoming yesterday's news. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the Gowind class Corvette, smash that like button, subscribe to Military Forces Unleashed, and share this video with your fellow naval enthusiasts. And hey, drop a comment below. What do you think about the Gowind? Overhyped or the real deal? Let's get the debate started. Thanks for watching, folks. Your support keeps us afloat, pun intended. Until next time, stay curious, stay critical, and stay tuned. Over and out.